All right, today we're going over one of the most science-driven bicep workouts you've ever seen. So if you're ready, let's get after it. So here's the thing. When you're younger and your goal is to get as big as humanly possible, you will spend hours sifting through different case studies, sitting on forms, because you just want that slight edge. I distinctly remember being in college, sitting in a kinesiology class, just salivating, waiting for my teacher to explain exactly how myosin and actin scissored together, because I knew if I figured that out, I was golden. I was going to grow like a weed. But as you get older, you realize the how and the why are nowhere near as practical as the what the hell you should be doing. And eventually I got kicked out of said class because my teacher was adamant about the fact that hypertrophy only lives in that 7-8 rep range and that there's really no benefit of training your chest on a different angle, so just do flat bench. So I tried to physically assault him. For instance, if you lined up the three biggest guys from every single gym, I doubt you end up with the most analytical and thought-provoking humans this world has to offer. More than likely, they're still going to be writing their name in crayon and still haven't figured out why the scissoring is so important, the gym tan laundries of the world, because it's not about that. Only thing that matters is what you do day in and day out. But since I'm a man of my word, get ready for f***ing science class. I'll be sure to leave the sets and reps in the description so you know where to find them, but we're going to start out with one of my favorite cable exercises for biceps. You set that bench up on a slight incline, you put on the easy bar attachment, and the nice part about these, you don't have to think about it. The range of motion is pretty much set because you go down to those legs and then you curl as high as you want because basically you've got that constant tension to work against and you push yourself to failure, 20, maybe 30 reps, but we're also going to turn this into a compound set. So once you fail, you sit up and then you rep out some partial reps. And the scientific research-backed proof of why you should implement this in your training is because across the world, there's a little over 100 men who have a condition called diphallus which means they're born with two penises. All right, next up, we're heading over the dumbbell rack doing sets of 10 with alternating curls, which not something I would normally do, but I can't argue with the science. But the caveat is we're doing ascending and descending drop sets. So I'm gonna start with a lighter weight, 20 pounds, and do 10 reps on each side. Then I'm gonna start going up in weight. And I'm gonna continue to go up in weight until I fail to get to 10 reps. Once I fail, I back it all the way down until I get to where I started. Now, the reason why this is so important is because every year over 600 men are admitted to the emergency room because of injuries from sex toys. So maybe think twice before you go hard with that fleshlight. All right, we're wrapping it up with one of my favorite finishers for biceps because it ensures that every facet of that bicep gets hit. So you're gonna start with a reverse grip curl. Once you fail, you drop it, supinate those wrists, go into a regular curl, and then to top it all off. Once you fail on those, go right into a drag curl. Also, another important thing to note, over 700 million years ago, our ancestors had a spine in their penis, which obviously natural selection wasn't too kind to because back then, if you broke your dick, you died. So if you want more science-based training, just let me know in the comments below. Also, if you haven't got a chance to check out the program, it's basically what I did today. Fast pace, a few jokes. It's 20 videos, 20 bucks. It's a 30-day program that will just kick your ass. I'll leave a link in the description. But most importantly, if you haven't watched these two videos, you're going to want to watch those next. And like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can comment first. And get after it, get growing. Talk to you soon. <laughs>